Hey everyone, Coach Lazai here, and we're going to be going over a few passing drills that you can easily do at home to keep those passing skills in tip-top shape. Up first, you're simply going to be passing against a wall. So please, please, please check with your parents for approval. All right, let's get started. A couple things to focus on. Number one, posture. Number two, platform. You'll want to make sure that you are in a nice, athletic, neutral posture. Your knees are bent. You're really feeling the balls of your feet as if you can move in any direction at any moment. Your shoulders are forward and your arms are away from your body, creating a nice space between your body and platform. So for the first exercise, you're simply going to pass straight ahead, making sure to stay balanced in the feet, using as little movement with your platform as possible, which I like to call quiet arms. Keeping this in mind, less movement in your platform, less room for error. All right, for the next exercise... This is going to be mimicking what passing posture might look like when you can't get completely behind the ball. Imagine the ball is coming at you deep, and this is the skill that some of your coaches might call a drop step. Here, you're going to open up the hip and drop one leg back. Why? Well, this helps to create that nice space between the body and your platform, as well as forming a nice angle to get the ball back to your target. And then you'll simply repeat on the other side. This next exercise is going to work on your reaction. As passers and defenders, you might be able to guess where the ball is going based on what you read. But until that ball is actually contacted, you never truly know. So grab a parent or your sibling to help you out with this one. Your tosser will throw against the wall and you'll be in that nice athletic posture, arms away from your body and just ready to react. The key here is to get that platform together as soon as you realize where it's going. This one can be a little challenging, but it's also a lot of fun. No wall to pass up against? No problem. Head out into your garage, outside, or a bigger space for this next progression. Progression number one is a simple toss and catch. Catching is great because it's very simple and very effective. It's a great way to check yourself, check your posture. Where did you catch the ball at? Are you balanced? Did you step with the closest foot to the ball first? Did your shoulders pop up? Is your platform too close to your body? You'll simply have your tosser toss to the left or the right, and then you can amp it up and move a little bit more. The focus here is to ensure that that platform gets underneath the ball. You're catching the ball out in front of you. Some coaches use the term knee drop. Those hips are below the platform, knee goes down, and you continue your movement through. Progression number two is focused on footwork. When possible, in our perfect passing world, we should strive to be balanced with our body behind the ball. Getting to the ball quick and in your athletic posture can happen with a simple, fast shuffle. Here, your tosser will roll the ball to a side, and you're going to shuffle in that steady athletic posture until that ball gets to the middle of your body and rolls right underneath. All right, and lastly, you're going to put it all together. Starting simple and then making it a little bit more difficult. Focus first on the feet. When that ball is to your left, step with that left foot first, creating an angle back to your tosser. Our passer, Stevie, here does a great job with keeping those simple, quiet arms. When you're ready to amp it up, have your tosser toss it a little further away, and you can shuffle and be balanced to get your body behind the ball. Or you can take it up a notch and really extend. Extend out, making sure to take a step first towards the ball and really fight to get that platform underneath. And there you have it. When it's time to get back in the gym, you're going to be a passing pro. But first, you got to get to work. All right. Thanks, everybody.